Sega is delisting or removing 60 games. Now, this is something that is not new when it comes to our modern gaming world, but it's also something that is sad and it leads to something like people like myself and other longtime gamers have been worried about and talking about. And I'll talk more about that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and take a look at the news. So here, Sega is going to pull 60 games from Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch stores. And you have until December 6th to buy these games if you want them. And if you have already purchased them, they say you can download them and still play them even after the date. But who knows? how long that will last. And most of these games are older, vintage, classic games from consoles like the Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. It includes games like the Crazy Taxi series, Shinobi games, Streets of Rage games. And so a lot of games that a lot of longtime lovers of games, especially uh, people who grew up with them or retro gamers, really, really love. And why are they doing this? Well, there's some speculation that Sega is going to be releasing some brand new games in the series from the Jet Set Radio series, Shinobi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Crazy Taxi series, new versions of the games, reimagining. So that's going to be great in my opinion. But they're also going to be planning to make more games tied to movies because Sonic the Hedgehog from 2020 made over $350 million worldwide. Sonic 2 also made a lot of money and then Sonic 3 and whatever other movies are going to make. And they're doing this because they want to coordinate movie and video game releases that would be extremely effective from a marketing perspective. And for anybody who's been in gaming for a while, this has been done many times before, so it's nothing new. So which games are going to be removed or delisted? Well, well, from the official Sega site, they have it broken down by platforms, and here's Steam, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation, but Steam has the most, and it is going to be 60 games. So you have games like Altered Beasts, we have Comic Zone, Echo the Dolphin, we have Galaxy Force 2, which I'm running in the background, Golden Axe 1 through 3, Gunstar Heroes, Jet Set Radio, Nikes Into Dreams. Uh, we have Sega Bass Fishing, Shadow Dancer, Revenge of Shinobi, Fantasy Star 2, 3 to 4. Uh, we also have Space Harry 2, Streets of Rage 1 through 3, Super Thunder Blade, Virtual Fighter 2, Vector Man 2, Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, anybody who has played these games, they know how awesome these games are and how much of a classic that they are, especially for Sega fans. Now, let's talk about <laughs> why these type of things... Uh, not only are sad, but they also have me worried about the future of these types of games. And for anybody who's been gaming for a while, they know this happens all the time. You know, Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, they'll pull games from their stores, especially these older games. And they have their reasons. But regardless of what the reasons are, these games won't be available anymore. And that kind of leads me to the thing that I've been talking about a lot on my channel and I will continue to talk about. And is that is emulation game emulation and I know there's going to be gray areas people are going to be on one side or another maybe they're, they're in the middle of both I'm kind of in the middle um, in terms of like I understand why companies want to do this but I'm more on the side of we really really need to have emulation because when things like this happen and they'll continue to happen chances are you probably won't ever be able to play these games again unless these game companies release it again make it available in some form, you know, probably not the same as the original because they always want to add some type of changes um, or they might not ever come back. They'll be gone forever. And that's why emulation is such an important thing, not only from a gaming perspective, but also from a historical perspective. And so regardless of what uh, reasons that they choose, I think it's just going to be a really bad set and sad thing for gamers, you know, uh, in the future and also for people who grew up with these games. And it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon, especially with companies like Nintendo, where they are heavily, heavily against emulation. But it's not just them, it's all of these companies, Sony, Sega, Microsoft, you know, eh, whatever they could do to maintain control of their games and IPs, they're going to do it. And like I said, I understand most of it, but then I also see the big side of how this is going to affect all those things that I mentioned a little bit earlier. And so, yeah, it's just another part of this entire whole gaming saga of removing the ability for you to enjoy these classic games that made the gaming world that we have today. 
So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments there below and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.